Good evening, sir. Thank you. Yes, sir. We would just like to know why you are here visiting the president. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, this is just uh, a routine visit to uh, see Mr. President and brief him on the situation in Kaduna generally. And of course, we had a very fruitful uh, discussion with Mr. President. I briefed him about uh, uh, the situations uh, in, uh, in my own state, particularly the issue of uh, security, which we are aware that uh, we are making a lot of progress. Uh, in the last uh, few months, we have not had any major security problems in Kaduna. I also briefed him on the uh, situations in regard to governance generally and uh, some of the challenges we are facing and some of the progress we've made in areas that are very critical uh, in Kaduna. Of course, I uh, also discussed with him on the progress we've made since uh, our MOU with uh, Huawei in uh, China. I briefed him about the progress we've made. Uh, committee has been set up and uh, progress has been made as we are speaking. Uh, we have been able to achieve the first phase of the MOU. Uh, of course, uh, we also talked about uh, development in the area of education, uh, healthcare, and infrastructure, which Mr. President uh, happens to be extremely uh, happy with the progress in Kaduna. So, uh, we also discussed uh, our effort toward addressing the problem of school children in Kaduna. I informed him that uh, in the last uh, six months, we have reduced the number of other children to the tune of about 300,000 because we built about uh, 62 secondary schools in Kaduna, 2,340 classrooms in primary schools. We have employees, teachers. We have also been able to reconstruct, remodel, and uh, equip about 12, uh, senior, about 12 uh, secondary healthcare centers in Kaduna State. Not to talk about the 62 roads, uh, we are constructing totaling about 700 kilometers across Kaduna State. Some of them have been completed and commissioned. Some are still uh, in progress. We've already also bought about 100 CNG buses in Kaduna State, which we are also calling on Mr. President to come to Kaduna to commission for us. Uh, all this is in line with the renewal agenda of Mr. President. Okay, we know you are in a hurry, but just very briefly, sir, Kaduna had been in the eye of the storm on the issue of security. So just as you said, it appears some steps have been taken. Yeah. yeah could, could you just maybe just... Well, the right here? Yeah, no, the issue here is that, uh, you know, we have had a very robust uh, uh, collaboration with uh, security agencies in Kaduna. So we also increased the level of uh, synergy between the security agencies, Kaduna State government, and all the relevant stakeholders that have been helping the state in terms of uh, intelligence gathering and sharing. So for me, we made it clear that security issues is the responsibility of every citizen of Kaduna not only the security agencies, and that has really helped us to address the problem. I was in Benengwari uh, last month, and of course I was informed by the Emir Benengwari that in the last uh, few months we have not had a single incident of uh, insurgency or banditry in Benengwari local government. Maybe the final one for me. You made mention of making, achieving a lot of in short period of time under a very financial, uh, strained financial uh, condition. How did you do that? Yeah, we embarked on a very serious uh, adjustment. Uh, like uh, where we made it clear that uh, we need to reduce the cost of governance in Kaduna State. To date, we have not bought a single vehicle for any government official in Kaduna State. That has really helped us. We've reduced the allowances of all our commissioners. 
uh, advisors, even my humble self here, I'm, I've been receiving half of my salary since I became governor. I couldn't have not had a single vehicle as a new vehicle as a governor. So we tremendously reduce the cost of governance, and that's the way to go. If we really want to address our problems and uh, improve on other major areas, that has to do with education, healthcare, and infrastructure.